Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. Here, this is our question. How many unpaired branches leaves the abdominal aorta to supply the abdominal viscera? So, here, this point is very, very important that the unpaired branch, we have to find out the unpaired branch which supply the abdominal viscera, which supplies the abdominal viscera, which arises from the abdominal aorta. So, first of all, we have to find out the unpaired branches of the abdominal aorta then it will be clear for us that the how many unpaired branches supply the abdominal viscera not the other structure only the abdominal viscera here the options options are one two three four and five so let's see the branches of the abdominal aorta first so here you can see this is the abdominal aorta is it starts at the level of the thoracic 12 vertebra and it terminates at the level of the lumbar four vertebra and we can see there are these different structure of the abdominal aorta uh, some are paired branch and some other unpaired branch pa uh, so let's see first of all the unpaired branch so this is the first unpaired branch which is the celiac trunk the second one this is the superior mesenteric artery and this one this is the inferior mesenteric artery and here we can see another branch which is the median sacral artery so this four branches are the unpaired branches of the abdominal aorta other branches we can see they are paired and they are arising on the both side of the abdominal aorta so in the second picture we also can see this one is the celiac trunk then superior mesenteric artery then inferior mesenteric artery then middle sacral artery so these four are the unpaired branches, and there are nine unpaired the paired branches nine paired branches. so this that are not our concern so here we can see another this is the whole GIT system gastrointestinal system and here first of all we, uh, we can see this is the celiac trunk the celiac trunk supplies this part uh, from the lower part of the esophagus up to the second part of the duodenum then we can see this superior mesenteric artery the superior mesenteric artery it supplies uh, it starts from the second part of the duodenum up to the uh, transverse colon that means the junction of the right to third and left on third of the transverse colon then inferior mesenteric artery in inferior mesenteric artery it supply a rest of the gastrointestinal tract so it is clear that the celiac tract superior mesenteric artery and inferior mesenteric artery they provides blood supply to whole of the gastrointestinal system so the gastrointestinal system it receives blood supply from celiac tract from the superior mesenteric artery and from the inferior mesenteric artery but the medial sacral artery it don't supply the abdominal viscera so this point is very very important that the medial sacral artery it also branches from the abdominal aorta but it doesn't supply the abdominal viscera it supplies the sacral area and this part so it is now clear that the abdominal aorta it has four unpaired branches, but among them only three branches supplies the abdominal viscera and the abdominal aorta also have nine paired branches and they supply the different part of the abdomen so our answer is now ready this is the three so the abdominal aorta it receives three branches of abdominal aorta which are unpaired there are another unpaired branch which is medial sacral artery but medial sacral artery it usually does not supply the abdominal viscera it goes to the pelvis and it supplies the sacral area so our answer this is the three thank you all